Hi, I'm Michael Burton. I'm going to show you how to use the Bool tool. It's a Boolean modifier shortcut here in Blender, and I'm using it to create these cutouts in this window. You can see that I want this curtain looking shape back here to uh, exist behind the window in kind of a carved out space. And I also used it to actually create the windows themselves and the door frame. So you can see these little punch outs and it's just a really fast way to use geometry to create your objects. So first thing you want to do in Blender is go to your edit preferences tab and type in bool and you'll see the bool tool. Check it on and it's automatically working. Now go over here and a um, couple do's and don'ts. Uh, definitely subdivide your objects first. The reason is, um, if you have an object that you didn't subdivide and you go to edit mode, it creates triangulated faces and it's then hard to add more subdivisions to it afterwards. Here's another version where it looks really messy. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do to start with is subdivide, so tab over to edit. Make sure you're on face selection, select the face, hit A to select all of them, right click and subdivide, and I'll do 25 subdivisions across this whole mesh here. And that should be enough. Go back to object mode, grab the thing that you're going to use as a punch out. So in this case, the mesh is uh, going to create the hole here. And the traditional way to do it is select the object that's going to be modified, go to your modifier tab, select Boolean, grab the eyedropper, select the object that's going to affect it, and then hit apply. And you can delete it and you see what happens here. Let me go back two or three steps. With the bool tool, you put it in position, you select the object that's going to do the affecting or the modifying to the object to be modified. Let me get rid of that one here. And then hit shift control B. There's two different versions. There's the audio, uh, the, the auto Boolean, which creates the knockout and it deletes the mesh. There's also this version where you hit shift control B again, and you bring up difference, um, but you're using the brush version. So that means that I can select the object that's doing the affecting and I can move it around and position it. And it's sort of temporary and non-permanent. Um, but if you delete it, then the Boolean goes away. So that's the basics of the Bool tool. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a window